has substantially aggravated the original offence. In a further slap in the face, they suggested evidence would in future be given under oath. Now, we've got special cameras hidden in the back of this cab. So anyone who gets in, gets taken for a ride. That's brilliant. I'll tell you what, mate, you'll make this journal a lot shorter playing this. <laughs> You were a psychic or something? Yeah. Clairvoyant. Oh, clairvoyant? Yeah. Great friend of Russell Grant. Fergie and Di and people like that, they're all sort of into it, aren't they, with the crystals and things. Do you, I mean, do you ever wish, oh, I, I could tell them something, you know? Well, you know, if it happens, it happens. I'm going to see Princess Di at some stuff. You are going to see her? Yeah, I've been told. Yeah? Well, we're going. What, are you going to go, like, what, to help her, I guess, or? Well, whatever. She needs help. Straighten her out. What do you see the future for Di then? She'd go to America. You reckon? Yeah, she'd be living there. She'd marry some rich old punks. So what do you actually do then, Dave? Do you, do you like, stick your finger in it and feel around, or...? Uh, I do. The main thing is, it's like anything else. Whatever you do, tarot or whatever. Yeah. A uh, large amount of it's to do with body language and instincts and... Yeah, but I'm, I should think everybody's instinct, if you stick your finger in their belly button, will be give you, give you a smack round, a, round the ear or something, <laughs> isn't it? Well, I do ask them first. <laughs> I mean, it just fascinates me because my family are all into it, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, I had a granddad who was really into all that, and he actually talked about reading belly buttons, you know? Yeah. But then he was, he was in the forces. Yeah. He was in naval operations, you know? <laughs> I remember that, I shall use that. <laughs> no, I will. Have you ever had anyone famous come to you or, uh, or that's contacted from, you? What, from Spirit? Yeah. 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 Ooh. Martin Luther King. He was at the end of the bed one night smoking a cigar. Joking, really? Yeah. What's he saying? How are you doing? I said, all right, mate. Spiritual person, I think. Yeah. I attract him because of what I do. Yeah. Um, I've seen Benny Hill. And I've seen the other Morgan Wise bloke who died. Oh, Eric. Yeah, Eric. Yeah. Both the same week, they were. Yeah? Yeah, because I'm a bit of a comedian when I'm on the platform working. Yeah, no, I imagine, actually, yeah. And, uh, I don't know, it's just something about him. Yeah. 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 What do they say to you, then? I mean, do they, have they got well, a they message just, or anything? They don't say much. They just say, you know, like, hello, right, you know, for yeah. real. Lighten up, you know. Yeah. Be happy. Benny Hill, blimey. Oh, because I love Benny Hill. I mean, a bit, you know, if, you, if you, you love these people, you'd love to sort of say something to them, you know? Yeah. Have you seen Elvis then, have you? I found the more a belly button sticks in, yeah. the more introverted the personality is. Because that's right, they either go in or they go out, don't they? Yeah, or oh, fairly level as well, you can get them. Yeah. Um, and that certainly proved the case with Frank Bruno, because he stuck out a mile. I didn't know it was him when he had the paper bag on his head. Start off with. And, he, and Frank sticks out, does it? Oh, well and truly, it sticks out about half an inch. Oh dear. So he's a he's an extrovert then, is he? Oh well, you, you, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? The way yeah, you know, I know. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, Harry? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rory Bremner. Oh right. Impressionist bloke. Did he have a split butt belly button in for a split personality or? Uh, <laughs> you just had a totally airy, you couldn't bloody... A bit like that one. Oh, Is yeah. That that's, worse? Oh, that's horrible, isn't it? Uh, uh, you're a good judge of men, then, do you reckon? Yeah, or, uh, hell yeah. Yeah? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you make of me, then, sir? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pleased you said that. Pleased you said that. 
mean, what can you tell if they've got a bit of fluff in there? They don't clean the relic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. That, I've never found that to have much to do with it. It's more to do with. Now that is. I don't want belly button. That one's very upright. Yeah, yeah, you see that. Me? So I don't know. I've never met the person, but I will say instinct-wise, as in upright belly button, upright kind of person, doesn't tend to take too many chances. And that looks like a pig's ass, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a top top woman was coming into the shop. So you're working in the salon, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And like I had the um. You had to wear these like really tight blue trousers and a white t-shirt and you yeah. had to tuck your t-shirt in. And because I'm big, I'm not comfortable like that. Right. I like loose fitting and, you know, comfortable clothing. So I, I had the right arm all day. And um, I just, everyone was in a flat and everyone kept saying to me, do this, do that. And I Not a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> and I just like, I kept plugging things in this one socket. So everything was at hand with this one hairdresser, the top one. Yeah. So there was like six hair dryers, four hot rollers, you know, things like that. Yeah. And it just, it just like went bang. <laughs> and three people were under dryers and their hair got singed. Are you the, joking? Yeah. Well, you went to their hairstyles? Yeah. One of the hair, she was having um, highlights. Yeah. And where it just blew, yeah. the ultraviolet went on it yeah. and her hair was stuck to the machine. <laughs> I got dismissed on the spot, and they basically said, don't ask for a reference. <laughs> go on then, try so this. So Max Miller's, yeah. Well, I know Max Miller, yeah, but go on. Has anyone heard of Max Miller? He said to be called a cheeky chappy. Well, if you have, here's one of his stories. I heard the one about the eagle, just been divorced. Went out flying one day, and on the ground, he spotted a dove. Flew down, had a bit of ding-dong with the dove. <laughs> And it flew away. The little dove laid it and said, I have a little dove and I've had a bit of love, but I liked it. He was still flying around and on the ground he spotted a blue tip. Flew down, had a bit of ding dong with a blue tip and he flew away. The little blue tip laid it and said, I am a little tip and I've had a little bit, but I liked it. <laughs> the eagle's still flying around and on the ground he spotted a duck. Flew down, had a bit of ding dong with the duck, and he flew away. The little duck lay there and said, I am a little Drake, and he's made a big mistake, but I liked it. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Well done, that's excellent. He put me off hairdressing, though. Yeah, but did you want to be a hairdresser anyway? I did, because my mum is. Yeah. So, and I just always, because I always used to help, you know, with her hands in the rollers and yeah, you yeah, know yeah. but no it's too fake you know hairdressers they're too phony yeah, cheesy smiles I know. and I know. have a nice day and yeah, all that. yeah, yeah. I know. It's my ambition but to be a dancer oh. I'd have given anything for being a dancer. Oh, why don't you take it up now? Well, that's a bit late now, isn't it, it's really? It's really, no. I've got, uh, I take adult classes in tap dancing. Yeah. And um, that some of them are 60. Says I'm 77. Well, 77, are you really? Yes. Mm. Well, I won't be in July, sorry. I'm 76 and 11 months. Oh, right. Actually, you look very well on it, my love. <laughs> Thank you, Candy, sir. <laughs> You're not that old, are you? Am so, I? Well, I know if you're belly dancing, you look all right to me. You, you look fit and healthy. I am fit, I am healthy, oh, because so I, do, I do a lot of sports. Oh, I see, right. I do a lot of sports, I play golf. Yeah. I do temping bowling, I do green board bowling. And I do martial arts three times a week. Oh, right, oh, well, I'll better watch myself then. How old are you if you don't mind me asking? Mm. If that's a rude question, you can tell no, me. No, 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 I'll give you three guess. Right, honest, yeah? Mm. 54. Come again. 53. Oh, sorry, Jack. Come again. Um, Put another 10 years on that. What? 62? You know. Well, I've got to <laughs> you. look fantastic for 62. I would not, honestly, I'd have put my mortgage on you wouldn't be over 55. Well, I'll have to start taking up belly dancing, I think. That's the only <laughs> way I want to be done. 
<laughs> I like sugar. I like all the little things. I smoke. Do you really? Yes. And, uh... You actually look so very well on it. <laughs> You've got a lovely skin. How do you keep your skin so nice? Well, I think, I think you're actually born with a good skin. You're lucky. My mother had a good skin, so I've got one. Yeah. Of course, mind you, has got makeup on top of it. Yeah, but only a little bit. Only a little bit. Not a lot. No, yeah. just a little bit. I haven't got any lipstick on today. Forgot to put it on, actually. I think you should write a book on beauty tips <laughs> about how to keep looking you staying so young. <laughs> so, so what would it be then? It'll be plenty of dancing. Plenty of rice pudding. Plenty of rice pudding. And um The love of a good man. Uh, well no, I did it's very true, I did love a good man. Yeah. Yes, but I never got married. Oh right. No fear. I would have to be solely devoted to my school. Yeah. And that would be unfair to a bloke, I think. Yeah, you And I'm right. a terrible cook. Oh, yeah? I'm a frightful cook. I go to Marks and Spencer's for all my stuff. <laughs> but you do a mean rice pudding, though, don't you? I love my... I have ambrosia, you see, I'm for tin. I don't, huh? buy, I don't cook it, darling. <laughs> no fear. I pour it out and eat it cold. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my bells on my feet. Yeah. My bangles on my hand, my bells on my hand, I've got my costume on, and my thing in my belly button. I think it's in my belly button. Well, of course I've got my top bits on. Oh. And the clothes hanging out oh there somewhere. God. I think we could put the music on and we could have a little dance on it in, couldn't we? Is it now? Yeah, yes, yeah, all right. That's yeah, a quiet square, this. Come on in, here we go, right, ready? Shuffle, hop, tap, 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 well, one more then with the finish. Hey! I know what I wanted to ask. Why is it called drag? Don't know. Everybody sort of says he's in drag or whatever, and I've always thought, I wonder what drag... Probably it's a drag putting the makeup on, is it? I suppose so, yeah. Yeah, sometimes you don't have to put much on, but if you want to go... Over the top, but loads and loads on it. So much fun. Is that an easy game to get into, or? So, yes, yes and no. You have to have a good act for it, though. Don't go to a special college or anything. Oh, from... God, no. <laughs> but kicked out of school, that's enough. Well, he didn't catch you with a frock on in school, did they? <laughs> no. I bet you're very cute, though, will you? <laughs> <laughs> got good legs, that's it. You got good legs? Funny enough, that's one good thing about it, yeah. You don't have to wax your face and all that, do you? No, no. You wax your legs? That's it. Uh, it needs to be waxed. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a bit of the old stubble there. But once you've got the tights on, it's like got black ones. What do they say, then, when you go in and ask for all the, all the gear? Do they, uh... Yeah, you should quite helpful. Yeah. All the women love it. They go, oh, great. That, that one, that'd look good on you, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, stand there, Trevor. Show us. What you got? Have a look. I've got... Like this. Yeah. And that does up at the back. That looks like a very posh dustbin bag. Sorry, Dad. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. Got that. Oh, that's nice. That's, is that short, though? No, no. It comes down to about your knees. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, you don't want that many. No. You want to show your legs off. These are the new ones, which I love. Oh, they love These are only size 8, and they're much easier to walk in. They're really tight around your face. Yeah, yeah. They're high here. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? I've got a stuff in the Tight there, my fish. I want to go to the toilet. I want to go to the toilet as well. We're going to the Waldorf. <laughs> <laughs> we won't come out. <laughs> come on, let's go to the Waldorf. What you got? Oh, I think like I said, the old bingo balls and all that sort of thing, you know, and uh, well, it's all high-tech uh, equipment oh, now. Oh, so, it's a long time since, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, so you can't drop your balls on the floor or, <laughs> or like, have balls jumping out the machine all over the place, hitting people, you know? <laughs> um, it's completely changed now, that. It's a shame, because it was good, that, good in them days, you know? Well, there's a few gags about balls you can put in there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> What happened was, when this, this old club, in the afternoon, Lee, yeah. used to call at the top of the hall. It was a big club. Right. So the afternoon people would only sit at the top end. Right. But in the evening, you used to go onto the big major stage with curtains and the organ and all that, yeah? yeah. So I used to have to carry this camera, unplug it from the wall, Lee, take it down to the other stage, yeah. plug it in, 
and push the aerial lead in like you would on the TV yeah. to get the, the TV, the, the work. But what you have to do, you have the ping pong ball, is to pull it out of the shoot lead, yeah. then you used to have to put it in the camera so people could actually see. Oh, I see. Right, yeah. But being I'm a bit of a fast talking, fast bingo caller, I'll be going 3 and 7, 37, 4 and 7, 47. <laughs> and all of a sudden, like, because if you don't put the ball in the camera properly, people can't see it. You only right. get up, you've got a number either side lead, so you've got to put it in properly. Yeah. So if you didn't put it in properly, they'd only see the four, or i.e. the seven of the number. Yeah. So I'm calling away, and someone's shouting out, Ricky, and I've gone, yeah, will you show your balls to the camera for me, darling? <laughs> And I tell you, the whole place is up with the funniest thing of all, the handyman Dave Mill, that yeah. was really funny. Yeah. Suddenly, his head pops out of the curtain. <laughs> and I just got hysterical, and I couldn't talk. I couldn't call. I mean, I just not, I just was crying. I nearly <laughs> myself. I, <laughs> I'm not surprised. So that is the only time, really, that I've ever had to say, I'm sorry, I can't go on. I just want a toilet. I want a drink. <laughs> They balls up a lot, don't they, these days, Richard and Judy? I was I was actually on the programme. They said, are you psychic? Uh, I, give us a call now, like. So I rang through, and I got through with them, you know? And I, I, I said, look, I, are you, I said, look, I've been a bingo caller all my life. Yeah. I'll give you this set of these lottery numbers. So they went, would you? I went, yeah. <laughs> right, we'll come back to you. So they, I was I went through with Richard and Judy on this morning. And they went, hello, let's talk to Ricky in London. I went, hello, darling, how are you going? Like, hello, Richard. He said, oh, I believe you can give us this week's lucky numbers. I went, I'll have a go. I said, but what we'll do, if you grab pens, I'll call them like I do bingo. So I've gone, all the fours, 44, and I've got all these people, like Richard, Judy, and, and their guests, with pens, yeah. marking numbers off. And they said that, I said, that I work in a brilliant bingo hall in London called uh, the Top Rank Club. Oh, the and they laughed, they went, OK, can we, like, move on, please? I went, just letting you know it's the best club around, and she cracks up, Judy, you know. And uh, I said, like, and I said, people want to know where to go and play bingo. I'm your man, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, that's like, and I got, the guy got back to work because all the people who play bingo yeah. watch the programme before they go up bingo. They, they was hysterical. <laughs> In fact, they all wrote them down and done them, you know? They done them. Did they come up? Nah, two of them did. That's about it. Oh, uh, if they'd have come up, I'd have been, if, if they'd have come up, I'd have been an international celebrity, wouldn't I? <laughs> Is there a loo in here or anything or what? Can you see one? Queen's house. <laughs> yeah. I'm going in there and I'm going to the toilet. Oh, oh, I've got to go for a wee wee. I've really appreciated yeah, it. We've really got to go to the toilet. Normally I'm a chef, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So this is it then. So you've got the looks, you've got the charm, and you cook as well. Blimey. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you say that to all, everybody you think no, of no, now, No, 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 no. Well, not to the fellas anyway, no. Oh, it's the girls you say. Oh, is it guys in it as well? No, I'm saying to the guys, do I? No. But I honestly now, believe me, you are the prettiest lady I've picked up today. Thank you. That's true. That's true. And who's that chap? Was that your husband? No, 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 no. That, that's my, my my cousin. Yeah, He's been doing some electric work in the house for me. Oh, I see. Right, mm -hmm. right. I thought I had some competition for a minute then. <laughs> <laughs> if you give me a celebrity, like, um, I'll, I'll take you on stage and I, I, I won't be nervous, I'll, 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 I'll do the business yeah. and I'll make them feel alright, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Bruce Forsyth was really hard to take on stage, yeah. you know, and he had to call bingo. You know what it was, we had uh, a gala reopening and we had Bruce Forsyth. And, uh, and do the impression, go on, how's it going? <laughs> You're so much better than us, Rick. <laughs> I do impressions as that's well. That's brilliant, like. yeah. that's good. So I, I, I sort of sat down in, and uh, we were calling away, yeah. and uh, I, I see you going, it's really five, thirty five. And, uh, and, uh, and then 21 come up, he went, by eight, he's 21. <laughs> and then we pressed the button again, and up come 88. And I said, uh, Bruce's age, 88. And he sort of like, you know how he does. He looked, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brilliant though, really good, like, you know. Do a bit of Frank Spence. I'll do a couple of things. Oh, people, go on, go on, go on. Mm, I want to call the bingo. <laughs> <laughs> You've just been married the once, have you? No, three times. Three times? <laughs> well, you do this as a hobby, do you? <laughs> you know Melina? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Melina, I mean her is a good friend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Melina, she says, um, uh, uh, she always laughs at me when I mean about my husband, you know. <laughs> you sound like Elizabeth Taylor back there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, you just use them for a little while and then kick them no, out? No, I was married, like, I mean, 
I was married with the first one, I was married six months. The second one, we were together six years, but then we was only married six months. Yeah. And the last one, we were together, like, I mean, I've got a son with him, like, that's about, my son is going to be 13, he's a football player in Sweden. Really? So you're looking for husband number four then, are you? Oh, well, I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> The right one comes along, eh? They might do, you know. <laughs> you never know. What, do you want a toy boy or a, a rich old man who's going to pop his Oh, no, in? no rich old. My ex-husband was a... What, he was like a rich, sports rich boy. Oh, I don't really? need any of that, oh, you know? Oh, no, no, you don't need any of that. No. What you need is a nice young cab driver. That's what you need. <laughs> <laughs> what would your wife say about that? I'm not married. Oh, you all say that. I'm not... Look, any rings? Oh, you all say that. Oh, I'm not married, darling. I'm too clever for all that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm still out there looking myself. Yeah. Very hard for us men, you know. we got to do all the chasing. You just sit there while we... Oh, don't out. worry, love. I chase. Do you? What's that do? Well, I don't run very fast these days. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that my knees are getting... <laughs> <laughs> they look all right to me. Yeah. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you see one in the park? Oh, watch it, watch it, they don't bloody film me. <laughs> can you see if there's... Oi, darling, can you see if there's a loo in the park? Is there anything in the park that you can go mm. into? I'll go behind the tree, me, I don't care. Why Drip do you want to sit down in the park? Huh? You said you want a loo. You want a toilet? Yeah, come on, we'll go across there. Hang on. They'll let us go. Huh? Uh, in, the, in the Queen, we're going to the Queen. I don't think no, they won't do. let you go in there. No. Yeah. They don't want us to go in case we do a runner. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, Let's no. go. I'm dying. All right, hang on. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll take Find this back. I'll tell you, take, I'll tell you to the office. We've had a drink. In the... We've got plenty of time in the cab to chat you up. Yeah. Or you're going to chat me up. Now, which way is it going to be? Well, let's see. <laughs> Depends on what you like. <laughs> <laughs> everything. 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 You shouldn't say everything to somebody who lived most of their life in Sweden, yeah? Well, I presume a lot goes on in Sweden. That probably ain't yeah, even what I haven't yeah. seen. Well, I feel a bit of a failure. You've been married three times and I haven't got around to doing it once yet. Never mind. You know, I mean, it's like, um, sometimes it's worth waiting for. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not going to rush it. No. Well, I might. You're going to marry me then? <laughs> Come on, let's run off to Sweden. Yeah. I've, I've been there, I mean, it's like, it's not, it's not, Sweden, Switzerland, all, the, all those countries, it's not, it's not so exciting anymore. It's got to be more <coughs> exciting than here, though, isn't it? No way, Sweden is boring. Everybody's oh. beautiful and they, and they, and they go on the beach topless and naked, but it doesn't mean that it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you like your men? Horny. Horny, yeah, well. Funny. One out of one, two out of two. Horny and funny. Let me tell you a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a toilet there! That's a gym, she can't go in there. Oh, no, no, no. There must be a ladies, I've got to go. Are we allowed to go? Taxi, pick up me. I want to take a trip to the city. Taxi, pick up me. I want to take a trip to the... You can take me over here. You can put the here. You can take me around the corner and take me up the stairs. You can hear me. Brilliant, June. Brilliant, man. Oh, just... That would be a great theme tune, that, for a television series, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs>well, that's it for now. We'll be taking more people for a ride pretty soon. But just remember, when you get into a taxi, watch it. See ya. Sergeant Cryer's in hot water over his basketball team next in the bell.